Hey everybody, it's B Diz the Rockstar, part of Super Obvious. In this video, we're talking about The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 22, called Here's Negan. Like and share the video, comment below, and let me know how you thought about the episode, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's go. In this video, I'm doing a quick recap and also talk about some of the things in the episode that I really liked. I'm not doing a play-by-play -play of the whole episode because uh, that's why you watch the damn show. The episode starts with Maggie walking and talking with her son Herschel. She sees Negan and the disgust on her face every time she sees him is very intense. Carol sees this and makes Negan stay in a shack that's outside of the community. Negan is having some drinks in the front of his fireplace where he is being talked to by his imaginary older fucked up version of himself that we know Negan to be when his character was first on the show. Negan has been having the whole quote unquote turning over a new leaf and not trying to be the fucked up person that he used to be. But his older Negan self keeps talking shit trying to bait him to go back to the way he was. I won't lie, it was cool seeing the old ass super charismatic Negan because we haven't seen him in a while. Negan goes to the field where Rick slit his throat and after a bunch of digging, Negan does find Lucille. We then see a bunch of time jumps that explain stuff like Negan trying to take care of his wife Lucille who was dying of cancer. We see how he got his trademark black leather jacket which he originally bought after getting fired from his PE teaching job, which Lucille kept and later gave to him as a gift. We get to see Negan playing video games, pretty much being a bum with no job which was funny. We also see Laura giving him the baseball bat that he uses for Lucille at the trailer medical spot he tried to rob of its medical supplies. If you recognize her, she is one of the head people in Negan's savior's group, which was cool. Throughout the episode, we see a lot of time with Negan and Lucille. I like Lucille because even with her being very, very sick and probably going to die soon, she has this very positive outlook just in life and enjoys whatever time she has left if she doesn't make it past her cancer illness. We get to see a whole different side of Negan with the flashbacks of this episode. He is super caring to his sick wife, he isn't selfish or mean, not good with fighting the walkers, and he doesn't have that over the top personality that we know Negan to have. We have the very emotional moment of Lucille telling Negan that she knows that he was cheating on her when she was first told that she had cancer all that time ago and that she forgives him. Seeing all the backstory of Negan is something that we've wanted to see for years and years, so it's a big deal. There are some bikers that are beating up and interrogating Negan, wanting to know where he got the medical supplies that he has. He is released and goes back to his wife who killed herself with meds and now she's a walker. We also see Negan clip barbed wire from a fence which he uses to wrap around the bat to officially have Lucille. He torches his house with Lucille in it and leaves. He goes back to where the bikers are and they have Franklin hostage just like he was earlier. Negan takes out the bikers around the area and Franklin is able to free himself from being tied up by Negan already unscrewing some of the chair when he was in it earlier in the episode. Negan makes a badass entrance into the building and tells his story to the lead biker Baxter about a situation he dealt with in the past where him and his wife wanted to listen to her favorite song in a bar and some asshole was being super loud and annoying. Negan basically beat the shit out the guy and that's how he lost his job at the school. Negan also explains about knowing how it feels to quote unquote see red when you're pissed off beyond belief and Negan feels he can do anything. He then kills the head biker with Lucille. Back at Negan's shack, he talks to Lucille for a bit before torching it in his fireplace. Him letting Lucille go is a very big deal. He returns back to Alexandria and wants a car. Carol says that she will look into it to see if she can make it happen and says that Maggie will kill him if he stays there. He then gives Maggie this smirk as he walks away. The beef with Maggie and Negan is more than likely going to boil over at some point. Negan is the most interesting, intriguing, charismatic, and complex character in the show ever by a fucking mile. And seeing these different sides of him even to our current time and wondering how he will be when the show goes on, that alone is enough to make you want to watch the show even if you're a decent Walking Dead fan. I remember when Maggie first seen Negan when he wasn't locked up and after not seeing him for a while, the reaction of anger and disgust on her face was super intense. And it's one of those things to where how fans feel about Negan is split 50-50. He does seem like he has changed and isn't how he used to be, but even with him being a prisoner for a while, there's a debate. Has Negan really, really paid for his fucked up things that he's done, like killing Glenn and Abe brutally and laughing about it while doing it? 
I try to look up some of the characters' names for the episode, and yo, IMDB needs to get their shit together. The cast list on the specific episode shows all these people who aren't even in it. Like, look at this shit. All these people aren't even in the episode. <laughs> But yeah guys, let me know in the comments how you feel about the episode. Also, do you think Negan deserves to die for the things he has done in the past, even though it seems that he has changed? Also, is Maggie going to be the one to kill Negan? And what are some of the things that you think can happen in the show when it comes back on? Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Totally for sure.